I'm going to show you how to make chicken and vegetable teriyaki. It's a nice, simple family meal um, with protein and lots of vegetables. I'm going to start with this chicken, which has been pounded to be tenderized and then cut into little slivers. And um, this is chicken breast. It's free range chicken breast and it comes from a local farmer, which is kind of cool. And um, I have a little teriyaki sauce over the top of that to kind of get it marinated. And I made the teriyaki sauce in, it in one of the other videos too. So um, I have a little oil in my wok here. You could use a skillet as well. This is just a little olive oil in here. You could use um, ghee or, or uh, that's good. And then um, this is my teriyaki sauce that I've just been letting sit back here and simmer so it kind of reduces and gets thicker. So I'm going to put this in. I'm going to turn the heat up and put this in. Is this for us? Well, it's... Yeah, you'll be able to have some. Um, Madeline's coming over. Is that enough for her? Can I invite her for dinner? Uh, Madeline's coming over? Yeah. So, um... I want to get my spoon in here. Could you tell the, the chipper guys to, could you ask them to, to turn the... I asked them. They don't know who you are. Well, I didn't expect them to know who I was. I just thought maybe they could... Well, they're trying to do their job. I mean, I said something. What do you want me to do? So, um, Hang on. so, so that the, the chicken's cooking in here, and as soon as it has gotten, you know, hey. somewhat done, hey. then I'll start adding the vegetables. Okay. And one of the cool things about the, the, the uh, yeah. stir frying and stuff. Oh, is, that's just my dad. <laughs> is that um, you always want to have an odd number of vegetables. Hey. I, don't, I don't know why it's bad luck to have even number, but um, that's, that's the kind of the rule. So I'm just moving this around. And it, it took very little oil in here to do this. So you can serve this dish over noodles or rice, some kind of whole grain. And, um... So is that a yes or no? About now I'm going to put the onion in. So I, I did the chicken in there. I'm adding the onion. As soon as that onion looks pretty good. Do yes. You not, do you not it, want her to yes. come? She no, doesn't no, have to come. No, if you don't want her to no, come, I can no, tell her not no, to come. No, 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 no. No, I enjoy, uh -huh. I enjoy uh, your sister's company. I'm glad she's over here. Joaquin really loves her. you got to get one of those chippers, man. They're, they're awesome. They're like... Why don't you go out and help them? That'd be good. And, um, yeah, get those onions going. I want those onions to uh, start to look a little bit translucent before I add add any more in here good and i've got carrots here they come boom the carrots yeah and broccoli and i'm the last thing i'm going to put in is the cabbage because it won't take but just just a couple minutes or so i mean not even minutes, so how long have you been seconds. chipping <laughs> I said, how long have you been chipping? I just want to see this broccoli sort of turn bright green. <laughs> it's coming up here. Not quite. This is great. This uh, recipe is actually in my book uh, for young athletes. And the reason it's there is because it makes a perfect pregame meal, um, especially when it's served over a big helping of carbohydrates like rice. Then you've got all these vegetables. And then that small amount of protein helps, uh, helps um, too. And I'm going to put the cabbage in. Woohoo! That was only a, about a, a fourth of a head of cabbage made all that when you chop it up. It's very, cabbage is a very uh, economical food to add to your dish. This is looking very nice. I just want the cabbage to get kind of bright and uh, start to be a little translucent. Don't want it to get too overdone. And then I'll put that teriyaki sauce in. Yeah. Look, at, look it looks good. 
Okay, good. Hey! And here that comes. Will you guys mind cutting it for a little bit? My wife's doing a cooking show. There we go. It's beauteous! Yay! Okay, there we go. I put the, uh, the teriyaki, the chicken teriyaki over rice, just like that. There you go. And then just to, just to make it even more gorgeous, I'm going to take some of this red pepper relish that we made in a, in a different video, kind of spoon that over the top. Because you know what? Food's got to look good and taste good. It can't just be good for you. It can't just be nutritious. It's got to it's gotta be visually appealing. And also then when you put it in your mouth, yum, yum, yum. Because those things help you digest, which then helps you uptake the nutrients.